Okay, I'm here with John Peterson today, and we're going to go over the new two-inch artisan accent. This is a nice little cap that allows you to go over all your bolt holes. You can see up here. So we've got this uh, construction that we have a lot of exposed bolt holes. We want to cover them up, and we're going to see how to do that. So, John, go ahead. What's the first step? Well, I'm just checking my uh, holes to make sure they're fairly spaced off the edges. Okay. And I'm just using the square. Perfect. Oh, and then you just put this up there just like that. Next one I go up, I can hit the same number. Oh, so you don't even have to mark anything. You don't have to okay, mark anything. go ahead. Let's rock and roll. Okay, so everybody knows what we're doing right here. You're probably wondering what we have. This is a special chisel that FastCap has designed, and it has the exact outline or mortising tool that will allow the artisan accent to go in. Now we've attached an arbor on here that works with a standard pneumatic chisel. And that allows you to go around and do this very, very quickly, or you can actually just use this piece like this and pound it in. Much slower. John, go ahead. Let's see how it works. So now you're going to chisel it out a little bit. Okay. Now when you put that in, John, were you rocking it at all? I rock it a little bit. Okay. Just a little bit just side just to side. A little side, side up and down. And it just opens it up. Yeah, exactly. Okay, very good. And now we're just going to take a little bit of material out. A little bit of edge to just press the chisel on. Okay. And of course, we're using the pocket chisel as always. And the program hammer and all of other good stuff. Gel. Okay, and you can use construction adhesive. You can use whatever you want. The 2 p 10 is great because it dries really quickly and it's you know weather resistant. There's no problem with moisture. And it adheres very well to the ABS as well. So we just put a little bit of glue in each one of these corners. That's going to sit down in there. Put it down in place. Perfect. You're done. That was pretty quick. Now what about the steel wool? So if you want to get a little bit of a it's got a nice brush finish to it right now, so it looks like a piece of ebony that's been polished. But you can add a little more to that just by taking a little steel wool and buffing that in there, putting a few little scratch marks in there. It looks just like, wow, that is just perfect, isn't it? And if you even want to take some of these points out a little bit, you can take a little piece of sandpaper, a little 220 sandpaper, and buff those out. And you won't be able to tell the difference between real ebony and this ABS cap, the artisan accent from FastCap.